Thế lúc xin chào mọi người, chào mọi người đến với kênh channel của mình Bây giờ chúng mình sẽ đến với uh, Beginner Levels 1 uh, Đây, bài số 5 này My hometown Two people discuss their hometowns Mình sẽ nghe Cái Để tập đến luôn nhé Hey Todd, what is your hometown? My hometown is San Francisco. Oh, oh, nice. Is your town beautiful? Yes, San Francisco is very beautiful. It has a nice view of the ocean. Sounds nice. Is your town clean? It's pretty clean. Sometimes it's dirty. Some places are dirty, but usually the city is clean. Oh. Is San Francisco dangerous? No, it's not too dangerous. Sometimes we have crime, but it's safe. Great. Is your town expensive? Yes, San Francisco is very expensive. Everything is expensive. Food is expensive. Housing is expensive. Shopping is expensive. Everything. Oh, really? Is San Francisco famous? Yes, it's very famous. Uh, in America, it's famous for its bridge. We have the Golden Gate Bridge. It's the world's most famous bridge, I think. I know that bridge. Is your town hot? Never. San Francisco is never hot. It's never super cold, but it's never hot. It's always warm or cool. Sounds great. Is San Francisco interesting? I think so. It's a very interesting city. We have people from everywhere, and we have good food. We have nature nearby. And we have interesting buildings. Wow, I'd like to go there. Oh, you should. What, what about, about your city? city? What's, What's your city? My city is Chicago. Oh, Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> is your city beautiful? Yes, it's very beautiful. With lots of tall buildings and a big lake. Oh, nice. Is Chicago clean? Some parts of Chicago are clean, and other parts are a little dirty. How about dangerous? Is Chicago dangerous? Similarly, some parts are dangerous, and some parts are safe. Yeah, San Francisco is the same. Mm. I think every American city is the same. I think that's true. Most places are safe, but some places are dangerous. Right. Is Chicago expensive? Yes, because it's such a big city, almost everything is expensive. Oh. Food, attractions, parking, entertainment, everything. Mm. Sounds like San Francisco. I think so, a little similar. Is it hot? It can be hot in the summer. Usually July or August, it gets hot sometimes. Is it interesting? Yes, of course. Chicago is very interesting. We have many museums and things to do, and we also have nature. At the lake, you can go and enjoy the day on the beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is Chicago by the ocean? It's not by the ocean. It's by a really big lake called Lake Michigan. What about San Francisco? Is it by the ocean? Yes, San Francisco is on the ocean. It's on the Pacific Ocean. Right. So we have really nice beaches. Do you like the beach? I do, but the beaches in San Francisco are a little cold. Um, in Los Angeles, they're warm. Mm. But Los Angeles is not interesting, <laughs> and it's expensive, and it's not beautiful. Right. So, I don't like Los Angeles. So, we should stick with San Francisco. Or Chicago. Yeah.
shade or something like that. Uh, for different script. Hey Tom, what is your hometown? My hometown is San Francisco. Oh nice, is your hometown beautiful? Yes, San Francisco is very beautiful. It has a very nice view of ocean. So nice. Is your hometown clean? It's pretty clean. Sometimes it's dirty. Sometimes some places are dirty, but usually the city is clean. Oh, is San Francisco uh, dangerous? No, it's too not dangerous. Sometimes we have crime, but it's safe. Great. Is your hometown expensive? Yes, San Francisco is a very expensive. Everything is expensive. Food is expensive. Housing is expensive. Shopping is expensive. Everything. Oh, really? Is San Francisco famous? Famous? Yes, it's very famous in America. Is Famous for its bride, we have the Golden Gate Bride. Bride, bride is the world most famous bride. I think I know that bride is your home. Is your childhood? Nghe lại cái này một lần cho nó chắc chắn. Bridge. Sorry, <laughs> never San Francisco is never hot. It's never is never super cold, but it's never hot. It's always warm or cold. Sounds great. Is San Francisco in San Francisco interesting? I think so. It's a very interesting city. We have people from everywhere. And we have good food. We have nature nearby, and we have interesting buildings. Wow, I'd like to go there. Oh, you should. What about your city? What's your city? My city is Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Chicago is your city beautiful? Yes, it's very beautiful with lots of tall buildings and a big lake. Ooh, nice. Is Chicago clean? Some parts of Chicago are clean and other parts are a little dirty. How about dangerous? Is Chicago dangerous? Similarly, similarly some parts are dangerous and some parts are safe. Yeah, San Francisco uh, is the same. I think every American city is the same. I think that's true. Most places are safe, but some places are dangerous. Right. Is Chicago expensive? Yes. Because it's such a big city, almost everything is expensive. Oh, food, attraction, parking, entertainment, everything. Sounds like San Francisco. I think so, a little similar. It is hot. It can be hot in the summer, easily. July or August, it get hot sometimes. It is interesting. Yes, of course. Chicago is very interesting. We have many museums and things to do. And we also have nature. At the lake, you can go and enjoy the day on the beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is Chicago by the ocean? It's not by the ocean. It's by a really big lake called Lake Michigan. What about San Francisco? It is by the ocean? Yes, yeah, San Francisco is on the ocean. It's on the Pacific. Pacific. Pacific Ocean. Right. Oh, we have really nice beaches. 
beaches. Do you like the beach? Beaches. Beaches. Do you like the beach? I do, but beaches in San Francisco are a little are a little cold. Oh, in Los Angeles they are warm. But Los Angeles is not interesting and it's expensive and it's hot, not beautiful. So I don't like Los Angeles. So we should stick with San Francisco or Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bạn này khá là dài. Vậy mình có grammar. Adjective. Đây mình có các tính từ này. Adjective là tính từ, tính từ là những từ để miêu tả cái gì đấy. Adjective can go after be verb. Đây có tall, cao này, nice, tốt, uh, cute, uh, đáng yêu, dễ thương gì đấy. Những cái tính từ này có thể đi đằng sau động từ to be này. Adjective can go before noun. Big, nice, good Tính từ có thể đi đường trước một cái danh từ You can put adjectives together Two adjectives He is smart and funny She is kind and friendly Three adjectives She is tall, strong and fast The tests were hard, long and boring đây mình có thể uh, dùng những cái tính từ với nhau ghép những tính từ lại với nhau ok phần uh, đây là phần uh, tính từ của chúng mình Okay, Chúng mình sẽ nghe lại và làm cái quiz này nhé. My hometown is San Francisco. Oh, nice. Is your town beautiful? Yes, San Francisco is very beautiful. It has a nice view of the ocean. Sounds nice. Is your town clean? It's pretty clean. Sometimes it's dirty. Some places are dirty, but usually the city is clean. Oh. Is San Francisco dangerous? No, it's not too dangerous. Sometimes we have crime, but it's safe. Great. Is your town expensive? Yes, San Francisco is very expensive. Everything is expensive. Food is expensive. Yes, very Housing expensive. Housing is expensive. Shopping is expensive. Everything. Oh, really? Is San Francisco famous? Yes, it's very famous. Uh, in America, it's famous for its bridge. We have the Golden Gate Bridge. It's the world's most famous bridge, I think. I know that bridge. Is your town hot? Never. San Francisco is never hot. It's never super cold, 
but it's never hot. It's always warm or cool. Sounds great. Is San Francisco interesting? I think so. It's a very interesting city. We have people from everywhere, and we have good food. We have nature nearby, and we have interesting buildings. Wow, I'd, I'd like, like to go, go there. there. Oh, you should. What, what about, about your city? city? What's, What's your city? city? My city is Chicago. Oh, Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> Is your city beautiful? Yes, it's very beautiful with lots of tall buildings and a big lake. Oh, nice. Is Chicago clean? Some parts of Chicago are clean and other parts are a little dirty. How about dangerous? Is Chicago dangerous? Similarly, some parts are dangerous and some parts are safe. Yeah, San Francisco is the same. Mm. I think every American city is the same. I think that's true. Most places are safe, but some places are dangerous. Right. Is Chicago expensive? Yes, because it's such a big city, almost everything is expensive. Oh. Food, attractions, parking, entertainment. Everything. Mm, sounds like San Francisco. I think so. A little similar. Is it hot? It can be hot in the summer. summer. Usually July or August, it gets hot sometimes. Is it interesting? Yes, of course. Chicago is very interesting. We have many museums and things to do, and we also have nature. At the lake, you can go and enjoy the day on the beach. Oh, nice. Yes. Is Chicago by the ocean? It's not by the ocean. It's by a really big lake called Lake Michigan. What about San Francisco? Is it by the ocean? Yes, yeah, San Francisco is on the ocean. It's on the Pacific Ocean. Right. So we have really nice beaches. Do you like the beach? I do, but the beaches in San Francisco are a little cold. In Los Angeles, they're warm. Mm. But Los Angeles is not interesting, <laughs> and it's expensive, and, and it's, it's not, not beautiful, beautiful. Right. so I, I don't, don't like Los Angeles. So we should stick with San Francisco. Or Chicago. Yeah. Oh, cool. Got the food now. Okay. Nature and the food. Not really. Okay. We have a new size of sour. Days of the weekend. Two people talk about what they do during what they do during the weekend. So Meg, are you busy? Do you have a busy week? Yes, I usually have a busy week. Yeah, me too. So what day is your busiest day? My busiest day is Thursday. Ooh, why? On Thursday, I have to work from early in the morning until around 6 p.m. I have to teach classes. And then after that, I need to do my shopping at the supermarket. Oh, okay. I do my shopping on Saturday. Oh, really? Yeah, always on Saturday. What else do you do on Saturday? Uh, on Saturday, I do all my boring activities. What? I do my shopping. I do my laundry. I run errands. Mm -hmm. I clean my apartment. I do boring stuff. Because on Sunday, I like to have fun. Oh, what do you like to do on Sunday? On Sunday, I often go hiking, or I go to the park, or I go to the beach. I go to the beach almost every Sunday. Wow, that sounds really fun. 
Yeah, the beach is beautiful. Nobody's there. It's really nice. Yeah, that sounds great. How about you? What do you do on Sunday? On Sunday, I always go to church in the morning. And sometimes I'll have lunch with friends after church. Oh, cool. And then I usually clean as well Sunday evening before the new week starts. Now, do you work Monday to Friday? Yes, I work every weekday. What about you? Uh, I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't work Wednesday. Oh, what's your schedule like on Wednesdays? On Wednesdays, I usually stay at home mm -hmm. and I relax. Sometimes I go shopping. Sometimes I go to the park. Sometimes I prepare lessons because I am a teacher. So sometimes you do a little work on Wednesdays. Yes, but I do work at my house. All right. I never go to school on Wednesday. Why not? Because it's a day off. Mm. So how about Monday? Are you busy on Monday? I'm usually busy on Monday because my schedule is similar to Thursday. So I have to teach class until around 6 p.m. Yeah, Mondays are busy for me too. Mondays are busy. Thursdays also are busy. Tuesday and Friday are not so busy. Hmm. Your schedule sounds a little similar to mine. Yeah, well, we're both teachers. That's true. What about activities? Do you do any activities during the week? During the week, if I have free time, sometimes I will watch a TV show or a movie, and I also go to Japanese language class. Oh, nice. Yeah, so sometimes I have homework, so I have to do my Japanese language homework some nights. What about you? Uh, I play futsal on Tuesday nights. So every Tuesday, I play futsal with my friends for two hours, and that's fun. And then sometimes on Friday, I meet my friends for dinner. Hmm, that sounds good. And I also like sports, so I usually watch sports on TV on Monday. What sports do you usually watch on Monday? I watch everything. I watch baseball, I watch basketball, I watch American football, and I watch soccer. So I come home and I watch a video of a game from Saturday or Sunday. So I don't watch sports on Saturday or Sunday. I watch the video later on Monday night. Is it better that way? Yeah, usually I don't check the internet, so I don't know the score. Uh, well, sounds like you have a busy schedule. You too. Great. So, Meg, are you busy? Do you have a busy week? Yes, I usually have a busy week. Yeah, me too. So, what day is your busiest day? My busiest day is Thursday. Why? On Thursday, I have to work from early in the morning until around 6 p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. I have to teach teach classes and then after that I need to go I need to do my shopping at the supermarket okay I do my shopping on Saturday oh really yeah always on Saturday what else do you do on Saturday on Saturday, I do all my boring activities. My what? I do my shopping, I do my laundry, I run... Eh? Didn't I? Errands. 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 I clean my apartment, I do boring stuff. Because on Sunday, I like to have fun.
on Sunday I uh, what do you do? Ê, đâu rồi? Đâu? What else do you do on sun, uh, Saturday? On Saturday à uh, What do you like to do on Sunday? On Sunday I often go hiking or uh, or I go to the park or I go to the beach. I go to the beach almost every Sunday. Wow, that sounds really fun. Yeah, the beach is is beautiful. Nobody is here. It's really nice. Yeah, it sounds great. How about you? What do you do on Sunday? On Sunday, I always go to church in the morning. And sometimes I have lunch with friends after church. 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 Oh, cool. And then I usually clean as well. Sunday evening before the new week start. Now do you work from a uh, do you work Monday through Friday? Yes, I work every weekend day. What about you? I work on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't work on Wednesday. Oh, what's your schedule like on Wednesdays? On Wednesdays, I usually I usually stay at home and I relax. Sometimes I go shopping. Sometimes I go to the park. Sometimes I prepare lessons because I'm a teacher. So sometimes do you uh, you do a little work on Wednesday? Yes, but I do work at my house. All right. I never go to school on Wednesday. Why not? Because it's a day off. So how about Monday? Are you busy on Monday? I'm usually busy on Monday because my schedule is similar to Thursday. So I have to teach class until around 6 o'clock p.m. Yeah, Mondays are too. Mondays are busy. Thursday also are busy. Tuesday and Fridays are not so busy. Your schedules sounds like a little similar to mine. Yeah, well, we are both teachers. That's true. What about activities? Do you do any activities during the weekend? During the weekend? During the week, if I have free time, sometimes I will watch a TV show or a movie, and I also go to Japan's language class. Oh, nice! Yeah, sometimes I have homework, so I have to do on my to do my Japanese language homework. Some nice. What about you? I play futsal. 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 Futsal on Tuesday nights. Every Tuesday, I play futsal with my friends for two hours. And that's fun. And then sometimes on Friday, I meet my friend for dinner. That sounds good. I also like sports, so I usually watch sports on TV on Monday. What sports do you usually watch on Monday? I watch I watch everything. I watch baseball, I watch basketball, I watch American football, and I watch soccer. So I come home and I watch a video game from Saturday or Sunday. I don't watch sports on Saturday or Sunday. I watch the video later on month, month day night. Hey, it's better than
that way, yeah, usually. I don't check the, the internet, so I don't know the score. Well, it sounds like you have a busy schedule, you too. Grammar. Day of week. Spell names of the week with capital letter. Monday. On Monday. Tuesday. On Tuesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Thursday. On Thursday. Friday. On Friday. Saturday. On Saturday. Sunday. On Sunday. In spoken English, speak speakers often do not say the uh, preposition on. Khi mà trong tiếng Anh nói thì cái người nói họ sẽ thường không nói cái cái giới từ on này. I I will see you Sunday. I will see you on Sunday. Đây là câu mà người ta hay nói. I will see you Sunday. But I will see you on Sunday. Là cái câu mà câu hoàn chỉnh. Parts of the day. Parts of the day. We use different prepositions for some parts of the day, either in or at. Morning thì mình sẽ dùng là in the morning. Noon là at noon. Afternoon là in the afternoon. Evening cũng là in the evening. Nhưng mà night là at night. Không phải nói in night Midnight là at midnight When you come by a day of week And a part of the day You do need a preposition Except with noon and midnight The time of days goes after the day Khi mà một ngày à Come by là kiểu Nối Phải nối Kết hợp cái ngày của một tuần Và một một phần trong ngày một cái cái buổi trong ngày đấy thì mọi người sẽ dùng một cái uh, giới từ trừ trừ cho noon và midnight thì mọi người sẽ không cần dùng này. Uh, cái thời gian trong ngày sẽ đi đằng sau ngày này I will see you on Monday night let's see uh, let meet Sunday afternoon I will see you Friday at noon Okay. Pass part part of the week. The weekends is Saturday and Sunday and the weekends are Monday through Fridays. Uh, weekdays. Tức là ngày cuối tuần là thứ bảy và chủ nhật này, còn những ngày trong tuần weekdays là thứ hai đến thứ sáu. Weekend on the weekend, weekday on the weekday. Weekdays during the weekdays. Okay, mình sẽ chuẩn bị đến với một cái quiz.
January fun uh, quiz. Giờ mình sẽ làm trước và xong rồi mình sẽ So Meg, are you busy? Do you have a busy week? Yes, I usually have a busy week. Yeah, me too. So what day is your busiest day? My busiest day is Thursday. Ooh, why? On Thursday, I have to work from early in the morning until around 6 p.m. I have to teach classes. And then after that, I need to do my shopping at the supermarket. Oh, okay. I do my shopping on Saturday. Oh, really? Yeah, always on Saturday. What else do you do on Saturday? Uh, on Saturday, I do all my boring activities. Like what? I do my shopping. I do my laundry. I run errands. Mm -hmm. I clean my apartment. I do boring stuff. Because on Sunday, I like to have fun. Wow, what do you like to do on Sunday? On Sunday, I often go hiking, or I go to the park, or I go to the beach. I go to the beach almost every Sunday. Wow, that sounds really fun. Yeah, the beach is beautiful. Nobody is there. It's really nice. Yeah, that sounds great. How about you? What do you do on Sunday? On Sunday, I always go to church in the morning, and sometimes I'll have lunch with friends after church. Oh, cool. And then I usually clean as well, Sunday evening, before the new week starts. Now, do you work Monday to Friday? Yes, I work every weekday. What about you? Uh, I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't work Wednesday. Oh, what's your schedule like on Wednesdays? On Wednesdays, I usually stay at home mm -hmm. and I relax. Sometimes I go shopping. Sometimes I go to the park. Sometimes I prepare lessons because I'm a teacher. So sometimes you do a little work on Wednesdays. Yes, but I do work at my house. Uh, right. I never go to school on Wednesday. Why not? because it's a day off. Mm. So how about Monday? Are you busy on Monday? I'm usually busy on Monday because my schedule is similar to Thursday. So I have to teach class until around 6 p.m. Yeah, Mondays are busy for me too. Mondays are busy, Thursdays also are busy, Tuesday and Friday are not so busy. Mm. Your schedule sounds a little similar to mine. Yeah. Well, we're both teachers. That's true. What about activities? Do you do any activities during the week? During the week, if I have free time, sometimes I will watch a TV show or a movie, and I also go to Japanese language class. Oh, nice. Yeah, so sometimes I have homework, so I have to do my Japanese language <laughs> homework sometimes. Okay. What about you? Uh, I play futsal on Tuesday nights. So every Tuesday I play futsal with my friends for two hours, and that's fun. And then sometimes on Friday I meet my friends for dinner. Hmm, that sounds good. And I also like sports, so I usually watch sports on TV on Monday. What sports do you usually watch on Monday? I watch everything. I watch baseball, I watch basketball, I watch American football, and I watch soccer. Mm -hmm. So I come home and I watch a video of a game from Saturday or Sunday. So I don't watch sports on Saturday or Sunday. I watch the video later on Monday night. Is it better that way? Yeah, usually I don't check the internet, so I don't know the score. Well, sounds like you have a busy schedule. You too. Okay, và check xong rồi bạn thì chúng mình lại đến với một bài nữa.
bài này là bài này cho mình đến bài sáu rồi đến bài bảy này What languages do you speak? Two people discuss the languages they speak or want to learn. Abide me. Abide me. Abide me. Let's talk about languages. Sure. Abide me. Language Canada. So you're from Nigeria. 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 And Nigeria has many languages. Correct. That's true. Yes. How many languages can you speak? I say that I can speak one language every well, a very well, me too, and that would be English. But I speak other language very well. Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigeria Yoruba 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 which is a Nigeria language French and a little bit of Japanese as well you Canadian also and in Canada students study French correct that's true yes um, do you speak French often in Canada Canada. Why I was living there, I spoke it a lot more. Yes, you like French. I love French. I love learning languages. French, I think, is very hard for some people, myself included, because the pronunciation of some words. Is very different than the pronunciation of American English, so I think it's funny that there are some words in French that look exactly the same as word in English, but we pronounce them correctly differently. For example, I will say the word in English, and you say the same word in French. Okay. Mình không biết cái này trong tiếng Pháp đọc là sao Tìm tiếng Pháp đây Impossible Impossible Right So that is so interesting Again, impossible Impossible Okay In they are spelled the same, correct? That's true. Yeah. How about the res reservation? Reservation. Re reservation. Sean. That's so cool. I have never thought of it like that before. Talk. Pronunciations and are, but the pronunciations are different. I think it's a trick because we see the word and we know how to say it one one's way, but we have to say it in a di a different way. That's true. We just can't do that well. That's true. Yeah. So you can speak. <laughs> Green thing there. Yoruba. Yoruba. Yoruba, yes. Yoruba, how do you say? How do you say? How are you in Yoruba? 
what is Yoruba? Oh, that's so cool again. Oh, mình sẽ bỏ qua cái đoạn này. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Thank you. Have you ever taught that language? No, never. I don't think too many people want to learn it outside of Nigeria. Nigeria, đúng. <laughs> Nigeria. Nigeria. I think in the future, more people will want to learn unique languages. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe, maybe. What language do you want to learn in the future? I have many that if I had more time, time I would like to learn. I'm interested in Japan, of course. I live in Japan now, Japanese. I live in Japan now, so I would like to speak it better. I would like also like to learn Mandarin, Russia. Hausa, Hausa, Hausa. Another ni a uh, Nigeria language, Spanish, and maybe a couple of others. Yeah, there are so many languages I want to learn. I want to learn Spanish too. I can speak some Thai and Japanese because I lived as a teacher in both countries. But I want to learn a language that has the same, eh, same alphabet. I can read Thai, but not very well. I can read Japanese, but not very well. I want to learn a language where it's easy to read and see what the words are. In, tha in Thai, you can't do that. In Japanese, you can't do that. I know what you mean. It would make it easier to learn the language, but in Russia, Russian, you can do that. That's true, right? It's completely different. That's true, but they have alphabets uh, that are the same. You just have to di uh, decode. decode them a little bit. Yeah, we have the phrase, it's all great to me. Which means you have no idea. Anyway, thanks a lot. A, A, B, A. 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 Thank you, Toad. Which is in the Grammar. Languages, nation years, national years. Language, languages and people from a country begin with a capital letter. Tức là cái tên của một đất nước này hoặc là một ngôn ngữ là những cái người dân đến từ cái đến đất đất nước thì đều bắt đầu bằng một cái chữ cái viết hoa. I'm from I am from Germany. Jean, he can speak French. Fod.
adjective form of a country can be used to describe people and language and item. People speak Spanish in Spain. She is Italian but does not speak Italian. Okay, that means anything. Right. Tây Ban Nha nói tiếng tự Spanish là Tây Ban tiếng Tây Ban Nha này. Cô là người Italia nhưng mà không nói tiếng tự Italia. We bought a Japanese car in Japan. Chúng tôi mua một cái xe Nhật Bản hoặc là cái xe được sản xuất từ Nhật Bản gì đấy Ok, ở Nhật Bản Nationalities There are some patterns in English for nationalities But there are many exceptions It's a best to just remember them case by case Đây mình có country, nationality Ở Japan thì cái nationality là cái um, gọi là cái, cái quốc tịch oh, là Japanese China Chinese Sweden Swedish ấy đúng là của Swedish 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 Germany là German Italy Italian French French. Hai từ nó đọc giống nhau như friends, friends, French, France, France. Cái là cái là uh, Spain, uh, Spain, Spanish, Mexico, Mexican, Canada, Canada, Canadian, Thailand, Thai, Korea. Greece. Greece. Greek. 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 Poland. Polish. Portugal. Portuguese. 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 Portugal. Turkey. Turkish. <laughs> Turkish. Turkish. Finland. Finnish. Colombia. 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 Colombian. Brazil. Brazilian. Okay. Does he speak? She speak? Uh, he speak? Okay, so we have English, uh, French, uh, Japanese. English spelling. What does she she teach him to say in Yoruba? Uh, teach him to say in Yoruba. In Yoruba. How are you? How are you? Language does she want to learn? 
uh, Russia, Russian, right? If I don't, Russian, Russian. Mandarin, what language does he want to Thai? Eh? He have learned Thai before.
cái cái đáp án của chú mình là Nên là kết thúc rồi, cảm ơn mọi người đã theo dõi video của mình và hẹn gặp lại trong video lần sau. Tạm biệt mọi người.